Hey footy fans, round nine recap. Well, it started on Friday night with our double header. First game of that double header was the Tigers, who beat the reigning premiers in Geelong, 102 to 78. The final scores. What a surprising result! I did not expect this. The Tigers back-to-back -back wins. Obviously, they beat the West Coast Eagles in round eight. Now beating the Cats, uh, you know, a stronger team uh, and a stronger club at the moment. Dustin Martin, Trent Cochin, Hopper and Taranto, they all stepped up. The Tigers, they looked so good, especially getting the ball forward uh, and in transition. I thought the Cats might have pulled off a comeback in that fourth quarter because they did kick a goal here or there. And I thought that might get them going, but the Tigers were good enough to hold them off. Then we had the Eagles taking on the Suns. The Eagles, well, they just keep on struggling this season. They lose 43 to 113, uh, a strong and easy win on the road for the Suns. They made it look easy and that's because they were just so good, not only defensively but that led to their attack and football and that work, uh, that teamwork around the footy. The Swans uh, lost to the Fremantle Dockers 86 to 103 on Saturday. A big win for Frio. The Swans, well, they're poor. They're really poor and for a team who made the grand final last season, and I know they lost, uh, you know, by by a large margin, but you would think they would at least get a win or, here or there. And to see them not only lose to the Giants the other week, but now to Frio, and now these teams that they should be beating, especially on their home turf, it's just not happening. A uh, really close uh, first quarter for our next game, which was the Roos uh, taking on the power, and that was up in Tassie. Uh, the Roos losing, though, 65 to 135, because after that first quarter, it was all Port Adelaide. Jason Horn Francis kicked a goal against his former side, and uh, Port get a really nice win. The Hawks took on the Demons, and the Hawks lose 49 to 103. Well, they destroyed them. I just keep on saying that because that's what we're seeing each week uh, from a team who is definitely in the premiership contention, from a team uh, who is going to be really tough to beat. The Demons look so good, and I know it was against Hawthorne, but just the, the team chipping in. You know, Petrarca and Clayton Oliver in that midfield is one of the the most dangerous combos uh, in the midfield in the competition at the minute. The Lions beat the Bombers at the Gabba 87-45. to The Lions in the first half, they were leading only by a goal or two, so it was interesting to see uh, a close uh, I guess, game, especially on the scoreboard. But then Joe Danaher, he got himself a few goals. Uh, the Lions started to kick away in that second half and wrap this one up. The Blues took on the Dogs. What an interesting game of football. The Blues losing 59-79. to The Dogs, another great win for their uh, season. Bevo's got a huge smile on his face with those uh, really uh, clean white teeth. Uh, and the Dogs are loving football at the moment. The Blues, credit to them. They kicked six goals in a row. They took the lead. It was game on in that fourth quarter. It was back and forth, but the Dogs uh, did just enough to get the job done in the end. On Sunday, we had the Crows take on the Saints and beat them 121-69. to The Crows, too good at home. The Saints in a really rough patch at the moment. And uh, Tex Walker, uh, great to see him get on the score sheet as well. The Pies beat the Giants 120-55. to all class by the Pies. They played some really great football. And it was the team effort uh, which really shined. To see, uh, you know, obviously you've got your usual suspects like the Dacos boys and, and Sidebottom and Darcy Moore in the back line. Bobby Hill chipped in. Uh, and let's talk about Bobby Hill because it leads me straight into Isaac's GMP of the round to top off the Pies' fantastic win, a moment in this game, my goal of the round goes to Bobby Hill. A tight angle on the boundary line. You thought, where's he going to kick this? And he went straight for goal. Brilliant dribble kick. It was just perfect. Well done, Bobby, for pulling out the tricks and uh, putting on a bit of a show in front of the crowd. It was a great win for the Pies.
Going into my mark of the round, I know Tracy had a great mark uh, for Freo, but my mark of the round goes to Paddy Parnell uh, from the Adelaide Crows. He lifted himself up for the grab. It was just a classic mark. And to see, uh, you know, obviously he's not that big and tall. He's quite a, a shorter player. And to see him get up there at uh, that height and, and to see that uh, was just great athleticism from Paddy. My player of the round goes to a Gold Coast son. It goes to Matt Real. I tell you what, his pre-game routine of eating the grass before the game, I don't know what that is about, but when he's playing like that, you just probably have to eat more grass, Matty, because you are going really well this season. One goal, 29 disposals in this game. He had the one mark, 17 tackles, six clearances, eight inside 50s, 605 metres gained. Boy, oh boy, he is just an absolute ball magnet. And in this game especially, uh, really getting that ball forward uh, for the Suns in a, what was a sensational victory on the road and just uh, pure dominance from there, from them, I should say, from the start. Folks, uh, round nine, I just can't believe how quick this season is going. And we're getting just some ripper highlights uh, week in, week out. And I can't wait for round 10 because it's the first week of Sir Doug Nichols' round. Such a beautiful round of football. And it's over two weeks. So don't worry, you don't only have round 10, but you've got round 11 as well. But just quickly, round 10 starts on Friday night. Port Adelaide taking on the Demons at Adelaide Oval, or I should say uh, the Nam Football Club, because obviously they've uh, done their Indigenous name, uh, which is just beautiful to see. It's going to be a great game of football, and it's going to be a great round of footy overall. I'm going with the Demons by 13 points. you got to love footy. If you like that recap, and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.